everything is nope it's not working i had to redo um my audio because it screwed up somehow so now it's all freaking weird oh, let me see i think there it is okay we found it yeah windows 10 sounds about right oh we'll put the blame there we're gonna do dr bring your essences we're gonna speed run the hell out of this thing we're gonna go as fast as we possibly can i'm hoping to get at least this done um i'm as far as I know, the step after this is the one that you only have to do once. So I'm hoping to get this one done for my monk and then set all my substats and then slowly work on the rest of the relic from there. Because the substats is the big one that you want. I, I was actually originally doing my monk relic. Monk relic looks stupid to me. So, and then I'm going in on T with black mage originally. So I'm like, okay, I'll switch over. So I'll cancel that quest and then finish it on Black Mage because I'll still have my time-worn artifacts. Uh, I'll still have those in my inventory. I'll just switch the quest over and get my uh, Black Mage stuff done. And now I'm switching back again. I mean, that, this is the only way I can get extra stuff done like crafting or relic or anything. I have to stream it. And then I can justify it to myself like, one, it makes it a lot faster because I get your guys' help. But then, at the same time, I'm also trying to uh, not waste time. Because I've been doing a lot of this offline. I finally got all this done. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Finally got this headpiece, got the body, got these augmented, which was a pain. I hate that so much. Uh, got these augmented eden grace augmented eden grace augmented we're fucking done we're done all we need is this and even this it's like these this already has good substats it's not a big deal i'm missing like i don't know how much dps i'm actually losing from that but it's not bad you know what i mean yeah i mean <laughs> after after doing the original the original level 50 relic books those sucked those old relic quests, oh my gosh. I liked regular Atma, but then you get dungeon Atma. I'd still rather grind for Hero's Gauntlet gear than dungeon Atma. You remember when you had to beat fights? You had to beat Shiva, or not Shiva, Titan, Ifrit, and Garuda on hard mode, and they were hard. You remember that crap? Yeah, Titan hard on content. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that was before the server reworks too. Holy crap! You guys see the Pokemon presents? Yeah, the new underground for Diamond and Pearl looks really cool. They brought back secret bases, which has been on my wish list forever. And everybody's like, no, nobody ever used it, so that's why they never add it to the games anymore. I'm like, no, you're dumb. It was so cool. Is it scary to be a father of three in these times? Uh, a little. It's mostly like what they're going to be try trying to teach them at school. There are certain things that I just don't think are appropriate for children to be exposed to. Um, and, and people being so adamant about trying to do that to people. So, especially because some, some like just wingnut teachers will, will tell the kids not to tell their parents about what's going on. And that can be really scary. But I like the school that they're at right now, or that my daughter's at right now, my oldest. So, so far, we're okay. Like, a lot of crazy stuff has happened in my lifetime. I remember hearing about stuff when I was a kid. I was in second grade when the Bill Clinton sex scandal was going on, and I had no idea what the hell was happening. But I just remember, like, walking around, like, listening to other kids' conversations, like... Oh, they don't know about the sex. And I didn't know about the sex. All I knew is that something happened. <laughs> but and I'd heard it from another kid. My teacher like pulls me aside and like, what did you say? I'm like, I just said they don't know about the sex. <laughs> and then she's like, don't talk about that. I'm like, oh, okay. She's right. I shouldn't have been talking about it. I shouldn't have known what the hell was going on. But like, there's always going to be like some crazy stuff happening. But... I mean, I'm fine. Like, my, my biggest thing right now is to make sure that my kids are well-equipped emotion well equipped emotionally and mentally to deal with the harsher realities 
of just adulthood. There, there's always something, right? No matter what you do. You just gotta, gotta choose your battles, so. It, it doesn't bother me. I think it bothers me that messed up stuff is going on in the world, but you just can't let yourself, let it get to you. Like, just, I'm gonna teach them how to control what they can control and how to deal with what they can't. That's, that's my biggest thing. And my, my parents did their best. Um, my, my dad did a lot of unknowing pressure on us because that's how he was raised. Like, he just didn't know any better. So I don't, I don't hold anything against my, my parents at all. Um, and you know, to, to my dad's eternal credit, um, cause he was always like by the book, his parents were very much, you're never good enough. Uh, anytime you've achieved something, you can always do better, you know, just never, never being satisfied. And that's an awful way, awful way to live your life. Um, but he was just very by the book. This is how you do it. This is what, uh, you know, you go to school, you get a degree, you get a job, you know, the, the same you know, usual American dream stuff. My parents, at least when they said go to school, they paid my entire way through school. And I tried to repay that by passing as many classes as I could um, and getting out of there as fast as I could because I, I hate school. I, I want to, uh, I wanted to get working as soon as possible. Anyway, so my dad is raised in that. So he doesn't get YouTube or anything like this because it's, way off the beaten path for anything he's familiar with, right? Sorry if I'm not responding to you guys uh, right now. I'm, I'm trying to focus on doing what I, my rotation, more or less, and not dying and talking at the same time. It's actually very difficult for me at the moment. He is just worried. He's worried about me. He's just like, is this going to work out? And I get it. Like, as a dad now, I get it. Like, it's... You, your, your kid's doing things that you're not sure about. You don't want to see him hurt. You don't want to see him uh, let down. You don't like, just, he's scared. And uh, I get that, so I empathize. Um, but over time, like, he let me prove it. That what I was doing was worthwhile and what I was doing could work. And uh, I mean, I've, I've since had his blessing. You know, I, I still have to tell him every time we meet, like almost literally every time. What is, what is it that you do again with the whole YouTube thing? Uh, uh, okay, okay. And how does that make money again? Like, I I, I see it, but I, I don't know what, well, why it's making money. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Dad, just sit down here and I'll, I'll tell you the story again. I'm gonna say with my mom, she, she would always like, she, she's the one who always makes those suggestions like, hey, have you considered this? So she'd always do that for school and it always pissed me the hell off. So I'm like, I don't want to go to school, mom. And then my wife uh, was going away to school um, while we were still, when we started dating. And I was like, okay, hey, if I can go to her school, I'll go to school. And they were like, okay. So that's how they got me in school. <laughs> so my parents really liked my wife. Yeah, now my mom, like, she, she would always look for, like, she was still helping. Even if it was, like, how I feel pressure from people like, oh, you should do this video, or have you considered playing this game and stuff? And it's just like, I got other shit to do. Now, now she's like on board and she still asks, so what, I, I keep trying, I met somebody and I was telling them like what you were doing, but I don't know if I got it right. I'm like, it's okay, mom. Yeah, bas basically now if people ask me, I'm like, it, you know how television stations sell advertising with the, the commercials? Basically that, pretty much the exact same system on a smaller scale. But also like the channel that we're on is global. But with YouTube, for better or worse. Uh, we, we all have to deal with YouTube. They actually, uh, my video, the T video popped up in people's recommended. So that was good. That was good, good job YouTube. Um, I appreciate that. So hopefully we see some growth as we get closer to Endwalker. Hopefully I'm in a better mood when I'm streaming. Uh, I don't sass too many people because I really am very picky about the questions that I get. Sometimes because sometimes they just stress me the hell out. And then you guys just get caught in the whirlwind of my hectic emotion with trying to please everybody even though I know that's a failing. I'm glad you guys liked the tea video because that thing was is a work of art. I, I think all the videos are funny, or I wouldn't put them out. But, yeah, I, I was really, I was really, really, really happy with the T video. 
And in that one, I was doing, um, I really cranked my pacing up a lot. Yeah, and then Scribble was having like a really good time on it too. It, it, it was good that we were both having fun with that one. Because that means we uh, ends up with a really good product, you know? Hello, dangerous. Yeah, the, the T T video was so much fun. Whoops really leaned into the reactions too for it all, which made it. Hello, dangerous. Just, mwah, chef kiss. I'm glad it was him, not Hello, Sonic, because dangerous. I think Sonic would have had a meltdown. <laughs> Love you, Sonic. That, that would have been me. Throwing Sonic into his first ultimate and then blaming him for killing ads that I'm murdering for him. <laughs> Hello, <dangerous. laughs> Savage is not fun to stream because it is long and we die a lot. I mean, it's whatever you whatever you want to do, really. Like it's if you're not comfortable, if people are self-conscious about it, then they don't have to. Like I don't know, like. There, there's going to be a market for most parts of Hello, like most types of content. Like if you've got really serious streams, I don't know if Zeno stream. I, I think he's he's got um, Hello, a good form of like entertainment on his own. But like I don't know if he's cracking jokes all the time like we are. If he's got his uh, team in voice chat, but like you can learn a lot from that Hello, stream. Dangerous. You can. You know, watch a series prog and see how people who really like to optimize do it. Like, there's definitely a crowd for that. That's Hello, not bad. Um, you can watch people like me who, when I'm on my own, I don't, I'm not trying to be funny all the time. I'm just, I like to have discussions and vent. Stream is as fun as you make it. I mean, yeah. And it's also like, again, the crowd you're streaming to. All right, people can't. If people come into my stream expecting a super serious raid prog thing, never have, you shouldn't be joking around, you shouldn't be, like there's plenty of people who have like watched the videos and be like, I'm so annoyed because you guys are loud and you're just like, this person's griefing and uh, I don't get it. This is so frustrating to watch. And I'm like, then don't watch. I don't need your viewership. I don't care. There is a market for this, and Hello, those are the people I'm dangerous. catering to. I don't need to be entertaining for every demographic of people. I can't, and I also won't. Even if I had the ability to, Hello, I would. Dangerous. It's much better. Like it's hard enough trying to be like, I want to play different games. I, I don't get what like people would watch the video and then feel like they have to comment a really nasty comment. Like I don't care if it's like, eh, this wasn't for me or whatever. Okay. I, I still felt the like compelled. Sometimes I'd be like, "This was fucking weird. What the hell?" <laughs> but you know, being being on this side of things now, watching other people's content, I'm like, if I don't like it, eh. yeah. I, I think I think if you want to have like serious prog, there's still people who like me, including stuff in our raid videos. I, I included stuff our serious parts of the uh, conversation. Unfortunately, Hello, people who just friends. came for the jokes. Don't seem to mind like they enjoyed watching the thought process behind it and they enjoyed seeing how we handle certain things or how we come to certain conclusions or figure out these strats and that's cool i'm glad that people can still do that but i, I also wanted to show for me that was a lot for me and just the group because i didn't want people to keep looking at us like we're just a bunch of fuck ups who just managed to get through the fights i didn't want people to think Corey was his brainless drone who only griefs the group. Like a lot of our strats and the stuff we figure out come from, you know, me, Corey, Raya, like all of us, we contribute. We, we have the tools to succeed. Even if we didn't have people spoiling certain mechanics, we would still be able to do it. It doesn't, like we're not trying to do world first. And if people are gonna be like, well, you're never gonna be, you know, top tier raiders if you have that attitude. It's like, I don't want to be a top tier raider. If we ever choose to be top tier raiders, we will have a severe, like a, a drastic change in how we approach stuff, but I don't think that's gonna be entertaining. And at the end of the day, that's kind of the whole point <clears throat> is being entertaining. Cause I've, I've considered like, it might be fun and, and like go for the world race. I don't think we'd get like first, but I think we could get top 10 with the way that we're able to figure stuff out. Like if we had the time to put towards it, it would be fun. But then that's an entire tier that I basically have no content for. 
I, that's my biggest fear. It's like I just I ruined a whole season of the show, basically. But some people want to make their content because they want to do that race and they want to, you know, have the bragging rights, and that's fine. Because I'm not talking trash about people who want that. I do not care. <clears throat> I'm not saying uh, the game is meant. That's that's the other thing that frustrates me. I'm, I'm not the type of midcore casual player that's like. Uh, you're ruining the game because you're taking it too seriously. It's like they're having fun by taking it seriously. That's let them have fun. Just because it's different doesn't doesn't mean it's bad. It's fine. You're gonna be okay, baby. I'd really like to finish this gear if it wasn't such a pain. Yeah, that's why I <clears throat> only like to do DR on stream because I can get people in here who I I know what are gonna try, and I have to do it during the day. Otherwise, uh, people aren't on at night <clears throat> when I'm finally done editing. So videos are on hold until I'm geared for tea. So even when people jokingly are like, Dread, but your, your job is to play video games. No, it's not. <sighs> my, my job is to make videos about me playing video games and editing the ever-loving hell out of them. So I'm like, I really want to like get better with my crafting and not be four patches behind my gear. <clears throat> want to make money when stuff just comes out. And then it's like, oh yeah, I've got to spend my time a little bit more wisely. Or my viewership drops, YouTube gets pissed. People start dropping out of Patreon and all that stuff. But anyway, yeah, anytime I do stuff with her, like, people just forget. Like, people... I don't, I don't know why they're subbed, but they lack complete empathy. Because there's this one comment. This dude just like, I don't know, I have friends and they have families and stuff. And they come back and they're able to like look at their hot bars and not make mistakes. I'm just like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, she tried. She, she, she went through her hot bars. She learned all her stuff. She didn't have her muscle memory. And they're just like hypercritical of dungeon runs. I'm just like... You guys know you're like way up your own asses about this, right? It is so ridiculous. So I'm just like, what what was supposed to be like fun, casual content, and, and a way for us to like put something out weekly. Uh, like that was that was her way of like one spending time with me, and also helping me with content when we had like a drought, and people just being really shitty, and that's why I'm so hard on people who are like. I'm just, I'm just giving helpful advice. You're being a douche, is what you're doing. Why are you mad? I'm just, give, I'm just telling you what to do. I'm just, that, that's moments where I'm just completely ashamed of some of the people who watch our videos. Very, very ashamed. I'm like, I really expected better. You play Monster Hunter 2, though. That, that was another game that it just drove me crazy. The unsolicited advice that people were giving, because they... I don't know, it just, maybe it's my insecurity, but it always came off like they were calling me stupid. Like I was some moron for not doing it their way. Like, I didn't have an item on my radial menu on World. I'm, I'm making a joke about how I really don't like this monster. And I'm not having a meta build. Like, that just drove me crazy. I'm like, guys, leave me alone. One, I've been playing Monster Hunter forever. I don't know every little facet of it. You know, I still discover things about it with every new iteration. Yeah, but oh my gosh, like you don't need to backseat so hard. I, I had somebody come in and question like, because I was playing Gunlance. They're like, why are you playing? Why don't you have uh, it's like artillery or something? I, I had a a guard set. Like you, you can do you can do uh, artillery. Like it's good, but. At the time, I don't think there were. I had the set where I could do both guard and artillery, so I chose the play style of I'm gonna be an immovable wall, and it was just fun for me because a, a monster would just barrel at me. I just put up my shield and tink, and take no damage, no knockback, and I get straight back into DPSing. Um, and I was fine with that. That was my play style. I said, Why don't you have that? It's like probably because I don't want it right now. Or I have a different build that I want to do, like... But even then, like, I don't, I'm not mad at people who like meta builds. Because there were some meta builds that were super fun. That were fun! Yeah, I, I really liked the, the meta builds for Heavy Bowgun. 
People are like, it's trivializing the fights. I'm like, I don't care. I'm an impact mantle, shotgun, Nergigante in the face, and I'm gonna like it. And I'm gonna have full guard on, so that I'm an, I'm an unstoppable machine. Uh, and then Velcana's like, LOL. Velcana, Brute Tyrex, like, yeah, by the way, I'm never gonna stop charging, and you can never get a shot out, because you're always gonna be blocking. But it drives me crazy, the comments that I get. Oh, the one that I hate the most. When I'm, when I'm doing something new, or I'm not doing something the right way. Uh, or I'm like just figuring something out. Oh, seeing Drac use this this way hurts my soul. Oh, my soul, it hurts because he's doing it this way. Oh, he's hitting cure one. Oh, my soul, it hurts so much. Drac, please stop. Oh, stop, please. My soul, my, my poor heart, my soul. Know that upon reading that, I immediately want to ban you from my comments forever. I hate, I absolutely hate those comments. Mm -mm. Lag spike. Oh, no. Hello, dangerous. OBS is good. I think. Oh, man. Very weird. Because stream's fine. Like, actual zero frames drop. What's going to be rough is that, again, we're going to get to Endwalker. We're probably going to get DDoSed. And then people are going to blame Square for it. Or the Final Fantasy XIV team for it. It's just weird because it's like, you guys are forgetting every other MMO launch that <laughs> has trouble on launch. In general, oh, why well, can't uh, every time, every time this happens, it's like, then why aren't you used to it? It's almost like it's a pretty difficult problem to fix across every company. It's not just like a, it's bad to so just put up with it because it's always been bad. It always will be bad. It's just, it's hard to deal with. <laughs> Cut him some slack. Hey, back to the stuff I post about like me and Jessica, Uni. Uh, it's so weird the dichotomy those people are always like oh this is so wholesome you guys are so cute and this is such nice like a chill video to watch and i appreciate you guys getting the chance to like post this up and share your experience with us and then all of a sudden uh, why are you griefing your party you don't know everything about what's on your bar right now like what's wrong with you why are you doing that why are you acting this way why are you why are you playing the non-optimal in this dungeon what the fuck yeah like People are like if you if you let those DPS die and they pull too much, you're you're griefing the party because you're gonna wipe the group. I'm like, mm. pretty sure a tank and a healer could clear a whole dungeon by themselves. Take a long time, but there are no such thing as hardened rages in dungeons, to my knowledge. Uh, we'd be just fine. So no, letting one DPS die, who's being impatient, will not grief or wipe the party. Or well, you're just being petty. Mm, you're kind of being petty for pulling ahead of the group. Don't do it. Let me see. Let me see how active Zadnor is. That's pretty. Dancer is a pretty class. It's good to have a lazy class. That's honestly summoner for me. I know that's odd for some people to hear. Summoner? Lazy? What? Are you playing it right? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna keep it 100. I don't know. Short answer is, I sure hope I am. It's just so refreshing on Summoner because it's like, I'm hitting buttons that let me move freely. I still don't understand why people are like, I don't know if the pet's not, uh, is a part of you, then it's not, it's not a real pet. I'm like, I don't get it. People are like, pets are stupid and then they, they interrupt all the time and they don't, they don't do what they're supposed to. I'm like, well, what if we just took them? Uh, you need to be, you, you, you just attack like the same as, not the same as, it's different, but you, you attack when I attack. And it's not a part of an AI process, it's literally just, you do an animation. Oh, that would ruin the flavor for me. I'm like, make up your fucking mind. Or stop complaining about it. That is, as far as I know, the only solution. If you don't want the AI, you can still have a pet and have it just tied to an ability. I'm, I'm gonna laugh all the way to the bank. Hello, oh, what's that? Trip. Your familiar isn't doing what you wanted? Oh, that's too bad. I just merged with mine, but no, you don't like a channeler. So, enjoy being Hello, a summoner of a dumb baby. Square Enix did what I wanted, and it's gonna be so Hello, nice. I mean, hopefully. Trip. Hopefully I don't eat my words on that, you know? I could. I could do it. Watch me do it, chat. I'll do it! Oh, no. 
Oh, no. The aches are setting in. I was okay this morning. I just had a sore throat and was a little congested, but now... Oh. Oh, we're in for it, chat. We are in for it. I'm getting lightheaded, too. I guess we'll just vibe for a bit. I'll try not to talk so much. You know, I just thought of how to get people to stand in improv. Give them a... Like a 5% damage boost. Like a brotherhood boost. For like 10 seconds. Attach other people's DPS to it, and people will stand in it. You gotta go to where the greed is, folks. You shouldn't have to pander to people's greed? Ideally, no. You can't stand the moral high horse. And expect people to change. Sometimes you gotta do it for them, too. At that point, it's just mutual benefit. Let's see if I can do this fight right. <laughs> With my mind all foggy. This fight's all good and dandy until you get to the last phase and it's like everything is going off now. Get ready, scrub lord. Boy howdy, I sure hope I'm right. This would have been okay. Pretty sure he's gonna start spawning AoEs on us here. Control. Yep. Okay. Are you really? <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Uh. This fight's freaking rough. Get out of there, dude! Get out of there! Oh, dude, don't, don't just let him touch you! Oh, jeez! Oh, brother Rick! Oh, oh, it hurts everywhere! Oh, why does there have to be so much pain in the world? Fuck, controller. Controller's being a piece of crap right now. Oh, I forgot to move again! Oh. Hello, Dentrix! Oh, like, finally it's over. I'm alive. <laughs> Hello, Dentrix! Oh. I'm broken. Ow, ow, ow. If my controller would stop... And it just straight up disconnected. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Hello, Dentrix! What's even happening? Oh, you got- nobody knew what the hell was going on there. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait until the pain's all done. I'm just gonna wait. I just don't know if I have any other cords. Fuck. Holy crap. I think we'll call it. The, the party disbanded. Um, we got some good, we got some good progress, almost at 20. Anywho, uh, really appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, we'll see you next time on the stream. I will send you over to, uh, Zoltan. So be nice over there. Uh, if you were wondering where Jesse is, I'm going to show you right now. All right. Peace.